let's do some spreadsheets and we're looking at Microsoft Excel and we're looking at the if function. So the if function is used when you want to display one of two different things or you want to use two different formulas or whenever there's two options and you want to use either one or the other based on some sort of condition or criteria. So let's look at it. So an if function you say equals if and then inside the brackets you will have three parameters so let's have a look at what these parameters are the first parameter is the logical test that's like a question that you ask yourself um, so that's what's going to go into the first block we'll talk about what exactly is a logical test later but basically the, the we ask ourselves that logical test it's a question and that question can only be true or false or yes or no if we had to give it an answer the second parameter is what we will do if the logical test is true so we can put a particular piece of string or text there that will be displayed if the logical test is true or we can do a formula over here that will be done if the logical test is true but whatever whenever that logical test if we can look at that logical test and say yes the answer is yes or the answer is true we will then do whatever's in the second parameter and then we will stop we won't do anything else the third parameter is what will be done if the test is false okay so if the logical test is no or false we will skip the second parameter which will do whatever it's true and we'll move straight to the third one which will be what to do if the test is false and that could be some sort of text that is displayed could be a formula that is used so that's how it works so we basically say look at the logical test if it's true do the second parameter if the logical test is false do the third parameter so what are the types of logical tests that you get now a logical test is when you normally compare two things that's the most common one so how do we compare things well the one way is we compare if things are equal to each other or two things are the same um, another way is if something's greater than something else or if something is smaller than something else now there are three of them there are three others and those three others are the exact opposite of what these three are so if you think to yourself what is the opposite of equal to well the opposite of equal to is not equal to and what's the opposite of greater than you might say well the opposite of greater than is smaller than no the opposite of greater than is actually smaller than equal to so you must get the equal to part because if it says greater than then the opposite is smaller than equal to and the opposite of smaller than would obviously be greater than equal to. So there we've got our opposites. Now, if you go look at those symbols now, go try to find them on your keyboard. You'll spend a long time trying to find them, but they aren't on your keyboard. So how do you use those symbols in Excel? Well, it was easy to do the other ones, equal to, greater than, less than. They were they're on the keyboard, but those three are a little bit more difficult to do. So let's look at the bottom one first, the greater than or equal to symbol. Well, you do it like this. So it's the way you say it it's the greater than symbol followed by the equal to symbol greater than equal to it's not equal to greater than that'll cause an error so just think of the way you say it. it's greater than equal to so you put the greater than symbol first then the equal to symbol next then the smaller than equal to exactly the same you put the smaller than symbol first then the equal to symbol so it's the way you say it. it's smaller than or equal to now the not equal to sign that's a little bit more difficult to do so um the way i remember it is i don't know if you'll believe this or not but once upon a time i went to a jay-z concert yes a jay-z concert and at that jay-z concert they asked us to put our diamonds in the sky so we had to put our fingers like that and the whole crowd was doing it, it was amazing brilliant concert so i want you to look at his hands look at the shape that his hands are making that it almost looks like a little diamond there because that's what he wants to use and that's how I remember it. I remember put your diamonds in the sky whenever I say not equal to. So if you use the less than and greater than symbol, you form a diamond like that, and that will be your not equal to sign. So in an exam, if you're not sure what's not equal to, just remember Jay Z, put your diamonds in the sky, or shine bright like a diamond if you want to use that one rather. So that's the symbol for not equal to. Now, how do we use this in an if statement? Well, let's have a look. So we got back here, we want to do a logical test. Now the logical test needs to be something that you could look at and you could say yes or no to it. So if I do this, greater than or equal to 50, now it looks like a criteria that you would use in a sum if or a count if, but that's not a logical test. That's not a question you can ask. I can't say greater than or equal to 50 and you can say yes or no to that. that. It doesn't make sense. There needs to be something on both sides. You need to compare two things. So you need to say something like cell B5. 
is greater than or equal to 50. That makes more sense. So if I look at what the value is in B5, I can then say yes or no to that logical test. So that makes more sense. Not a range of cells, just one cell. So if B5 is greater than or equal to 50, if that is true, what do I want to do? Well, maybe I want to display the word pass because it's for a test. So then I can display the word pass. And because I'm displaying the text as is, you put it in double quotes. So if the, if the value in B5 is, for example, 86, that is greater than 50, that's true. So that it will display the word pass in the cell where this formula occurs. But if the value in B5 was 40, well, that's not greater than or equal to 50. Well, then it will skip the pass and move to the, the false part, the third parameter. And we can say in double quotes, display the word fail. So basically what this would do is if we would look at whatever the mark is, or I assume it would be a mark in cell B5, check it. If it's above 50, it would in this cell, not in B5, but in the cell where this formula occurs, it will say the word pass. And then if it's not above 50, it'll say the word fail. And that's how an if statement works. So let's go do some examples. So yeah, we're a spreadsheet and we're just going to do a couple of examples. There, it's just a reminder that an if statement has a logical test, then the part that it must do if it's true and the part it must do if it's false. So yeah, we've got a whole bunch of companies and a whole bunch of codes and we want to just say where they're located. And according to this, it says any code that's between naught and 4999, they're local and all those that are 5,000 and above are national companies. Okay, so we're going to over here want to say either the word national or local. So I'm going to say equal. So there are two possibilities. So therefore I know it's an if. So equals if. So for this block, we are only working out if this particular cell is above 5,000 or not. So we're not trying to find all of them. We just want to find this one and we'll copy the formula down. So in this case, what is, we want to look, where do we, we look, we look for the code. So I'm looking, so equals F, what's my logical test? I look over here. If this B5 cell, if that is 5,000 and above, which in other words, I can say greater than equal to 5,000. That would be my logical test. I can look at that. If I know what's in B5, I can say yes or no to that question. If that is true, we want to display the word national. So in double quotes, we're going to type in the word national and if it's not national then it must be local so there we go so if the value in b5 is greater than or equal to 5000 that's my logical test do that part that's what it must do if it's true and if it's not true do that part so there we go so you can see that is national and if i scroll that down copy it down it will copy the formula down and say if b7 is greater than or equal to 5000 which it's not so therefore it won't do the national part it'll jump to the local part you could have also done this i could also have done this another way you could have done it this way where you say if b5 is less than 5000 or less than equal to 4999 if that's true then it's local first if it's less than 5000 then it's the local company otherwise it's going to be national that's just the opposite way of doing it that's another way of doing it and you will get the exact same results. Doesn't matter. Okay. So you can do it either way. So let's look at another example. Yeah, in the red blocks, if the company made 250 or more sales, I think that's supposed to be an OR, not a PR, 250 or more sales, they are gold level. Otherwise, we must just leave it blank. Okay. So we want to display the word gold or we want to display nothing. So how do we know if they got gold? if they made 250 or more sales. So in this block, we're going to say equals if, because we've got two things we want to display, either the word gold or we're going to display nothing. So where do I look? I look, I'm just looking at ABC Consulting for now. I'm just looking at its sales. So I'm looking at just D5. If that is 250 or more, if that's greater than equal to 250, comma, what do we want to display if it's more than 250? We want to display the word gold. So I type in the word gold, comma. What must we do if it's not gold? If it's less than 250, we must leave it blank. Well, to leave it blank, I'm just going to put double quote, double quote, which is just the empty string. It's, 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 it's nothing. So there we go. So they did not, so there's nothing there. What happened? Well, they didn't get 250 or more. But if I drag this down, 
we can see yes they got gold they got gold they got gold the others didn't okay so you can see that formula working as we copy it down okay so those were two examples of where we want an if statement to display something or something else what happens if we want to do a particular formula so let's look at this example only the gold level companies get commission on the profit no level means zero commission so they've got no level so those people get zero so they will get zero commission where these people will get uh 12 percent commission on the on the profit so it would be 12 percent of the profit if it's gold but if it's not then it's just a zero well okay so we're going to do a formula now so equals if now how do i know if it's if they get commission they get commission if they're gold we could do this in two ways we could either look at the level well, first of all why am i in the wrong block let me go to the top block here equals f we can look at b or e5 to see if it says the word gold or we can if we know that gold means 250 more or we could look at sales if it's greater than equal to 250 it's up to you they both mean the same thing in this case i'm going to say if this block equals the word gold if it equals the word gold then they get 12% commission so they get 12% so it's the 12 divided by 100 to make it a percentage 12% of of means multiplication of the profit that ABC consulting made the profit is in F5 so that's the formula if they get commission it's E1 divided by 100 times it by F5 so the 12% divided by 100 so 12 divided by 100 makes it 12% multiplied by the profit 12 percent of the profit 12 percent of means times f5 means the profit so that's what must happen if it's gold if it's not gold it's zero so and the problem here is because we just type a lot of people do this they put double quote zero double quote there but because we're dealing with a number we don't need to put the double quotes there but you want to keep it as a number so let's leave it as just zero so if i press enter here you will see that this is zero because they are not gold level but if i drag it down one they are gold level but why did that not happen why did not oh remember i think it's absolute cell referencing remember when we are referring to blocks that are not in our table do you see this is our table here we're referring to this red block that's outside the table so that e1 should probably be absolute cell referencing which means you press f4 on it so that it puts dollars around it so that when we copy it down it actually copies all the values so all the the f5 and the e5s they will copy down but that will stay locked so let's do that there we go that's a bit better so they get no commission because they're not gold but only the gold people are getting commission as you can see there they're getting 12 percent of whatever that value is and that should probably be some sort of currency and stuff like that okay or counting i think it is so there we go so let's look at it again so this is the case if you've got a formula you do your your logical test and then you put your formula for what must happen if it's true and you can either have a number or a formula there of what must happen if it's false if that's the case so it works with formulas or with just plain text that you can display with double quotes around okay and that is an if statement for more videos on excel go to our youtube channel subscribe like the video we'd love to hear from you so give us your feedback and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way